podcast qui vous inspire, vous motive par les deux actifs. Good morning everybody and welcome to this new day podcast, The Woman's Story. This podcast will be held in English because today, this is Jessiel who is going to share a story with us. Hi Jessiel. Hi. Jessiel is the first eater from Philippines that we are interviewing, so that is pretty exciting. Thank you for taking time to answer our questions and for sharing your story and project with us. All right, so we are now more than ever ready to know you a little bit more, so let's dive in. Uh, so first, my first question will be, could you introduce yourself? So maybe who are you, what you're currently doing in your life, and where are you from? Hi everyone, I'm Jay Sel Riveral and I'm from Philippines. I'm currently a work-at-home mom, so I'm working at home, I'm taking care of my children, and, and so basically that's it, I'm a work buddy. <laughs> as as I, I mentioned before, you're from Philippines, and I yes. just love asking that question. Um, which is, in a few words, for someone who never been in that country, has me, unfortunately, uh, mm. how would you define this country and its culture? Well, Philippines is very well known for their beaches. Mm -hmm. They have their beautiful beaches and we have, since we are near Pacific Ocean, so that's why we are famous with our beaches and also the food here in Philippines are delicious, so hopefully you can visit and enjoy our beaches and our foods as well. So, so what is a, a typical uh, food meal? Here in my, um, in my region, I mean in my place, um, the typical food we have which is very known is lechon, which is a roasted pig. Okay. A whole roasted pig. Mm. <laughs> that sounds nice. <laughs> And I also heard that you have so many languages in that country, uh, or so many different dialects. Is that true? Yes. Like, in my case, I'm from Cebu, so I'm a Cebuano. Mm -hmm. And then in the Manila, they have Tagalog. Um, in Pampanga, they have Pampagueño, uh, Ilocano. So there are really many languages in Philippines. Okay. Uh, you, how many languages do, do you speak, you, you'll say? Um, Cebuano, Tagalog, and then English. <laughs> oh, nice. Yes. But m many of Filipinos uh, speak English, right? Yes. Okay, cool. So maybe a little bit more about your your story uh, with Izaid. Uh Why did you join Izaid? What was your first motivation to join Izaid? Well, I discovered Izaid through online or maybe in social media and then I was of course, during that time, I have no work. Uh, I was I was laid off, and I was blessed to found Isahit. So it was really a blessing in disguise to me. So I tried it and was lucky enough to be part of Isahit, and I was able to join the team as well. So it was really a good blessing to me and my and to my family. So my initial goal was like I mean, I'm initial. Um, I was thinking that Isaid is a very good platform since it is about women. So it, mm. this is the first platform that I've seen women are the one who's doing the job, unlike other platforms, which is men and then women is a mix. But this one, they really wanted or they prioritize women to do the task, which is very overwhelming and I'm very happy to be part of Isaid. Really? So, what would you say the the Isaid platform and maybe the community? Because we recently started to uh, launch the platform in the Filipinos and in Asia in general. So, what would you say the the Isaid platform and community personally brought to you in terms of projects or achievements or maybe knowledge? A motivated platform. They always um, give you they give you tasks, but that has um, you will be given training which is very beneficial, which is very um, nice for us because of course there are different tasks, but of course you will not give us tasks that we don't know. So basically you give us training which is very good and then aside from that you motivate us teachers, you give us encouragement with your platform and everything yeah. that is basically about eyesight. Okay, cool. So maybe could you 
uh, tell us a little bit more about your, your personal project and uh, how uh, you think the additional income you gain through your work for is aid will help you uh, moving forward uh, with that project? Okay, um, currently I'm working with a project with ISAIDS, which is product categorization, and the team I'm with, they're very good, they're very friendly. Um, even though we are in different countries, um, there's communication between the team, and of course uh, the task manager, they are very open and you can communicate with them. And then the proceeds or the earnings that I will get with the projects that I'm doing, um, I plan to build I'm at a, a small internet cafe here nearby in my house because the I, I am currently situated in a province in Cebu mm -hmm. which is yes which is um, limited resources when it comes to internet connections um, at least in this way I could help also my community especially those children if they have projects they can do research or print out the researches they made and assignments like those things because um, initially our location is quite far from mm -hmm. those amenities and hopefully with that small um, internet cafe that I planned they could make those projects and assignments they are into and make the researches more convenient. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> that. That is funny, actually. <laughs> so yeah, you were saying that in your your um, neighborhood, the internet access is really limited, especially for yeah. for the youngest, right? Yes. Okay, so that that's the idea. So uh, with the money you will gain, you will probably uh, rent a place to host your internet cafe and after you will buy a computer, I assume? What's the plan? Yes, computer items, printers. Now maybe a little bit more about you. So what are you passionate about? What makes you feel alive? What are your, your current hobbies? These are now my families. Mm -hmm. I made my family, my kids. Um, I venture from office work to home base work since I have two kids now and I wanted to be with them when they grow up instead of like working far away from them. Yeah, sure. So that's one yes. Um that's one of my goal why I tried to work home base and I was given this opportunity so I will grab on it. And with Isa Head it's very um a nice culture even though we have different um, origin, so it was really nice, and hopefully, my goal later on, I could do more projects with the team and learn more on, with ICHIT aside from doing the project that I'm now. So I wanted to involve more with different projects in the future. Um, so, talking about projects, uh, what is the project you work on uh, in in the ASA platform, and that you like the most? And could you say why why do you like keep the most? Um, the project that I worked for it where before it was a face annotation and then um, this current project I have this product categorization. Um, what I like the two of them is the uh, what I like uh, I mean the one that I like on that two project is mm -hmm. a product categorization, the one that I'm doing right now. Um, okay, so just just two more questions and I'll, I won't be bothering okay. you anymore. Uh, so my, <laughs> my last question was, um, how do you feel, do you feel more in maybe independent? Um, how do you see yourself evolving in the future? What is next for you? Just maybe more about your state of mind right now. Well, when it comes to working with ISH, I learned to be more motivated and disciplined when it comes to doing my job doing my work and performing the best that I have. So basically, maybe in the future, I will gain more uh, knowledge when it comes to doing different projects, especially the projects that were given to me by ISAC. So that's the goal that I am looking for. And aside from that, um, to be more independent, more Motivated, discipline. What else? Um, there's a lot of things that I learned with Isa Hit actually during do, doing the project, Com being communicative, especially with the other team. Um, honestly, with the work that I have now, um, 
communication is very important. Even though we have different languages, I learned to <laughs> translate. So I'm using Google Translate, yes. Because they're speaking in, in French, so I know um, I need to understand that. So uh, I do Google Translate, and I was able to understand what they were talking. So hopefully... Um, I learned a little bit of those, those languages, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you are also um, working on uh, more French, because in his age we have English projects and, uh, yes. and French projects, so you're working on both of them? No, I'm just working with the English one since okay. I have teammates who are doing the different languages. Okay, but sometimes the digital task or maybe the guidelines are, are in French, right? That was yes okay cool cool perfect so as a conclusion do you have a message to share with first the eaters community and second with the women that might want to join is especially in the philippines or in the asia okay for the isolated community um first of all i want to Thanks all the people behind ISAHIT who created this platform to give us women the courage and motivation to do tasks at our own pace and at the same time be more empowered to do different tasks is either easy or difficult. So I wish all teachers to continue what they're doing, be motivated. Um, discipline and always uh, give your 100% in doing the task that is given by ISAHIT. And then for all the women out there, especially in the Philippines, I encourage them to join ISAHIT team because this is a very good community. Um, they're given guidance and they will always be motivated to do different tasks. So that's my message for um, all the women out there. Okay, cool. Many thanks for that interview. That was really interesting and I was uh, pretty exciting to hear about more about the Philippines and, uh, and your work. So that was nice. Thank you again. Thank you very much also for doing this interview for all the guitarists for the free